Hi and welcome to Expondo Gastro Experts. Uh, today we are continuing the subject promotion and image and we'll be talking with a guest I have invited today in my studio. Hi Christopher. Hi Michal. All right, let's have a look. So in the beginning, as always, let me remind you this program is being streamed live, so feel free and I encourage you to uh, send us questions on our live chat. Uh, let us know what your opinion on the subject is. The more you use that chat, the better we will cover the topic, which is today again um, promotion and image building, specifically naming, branding and logo. Hi Chris. So Chris. Uh, you are the brand manager for Expondo, right? So you should know best. Uh, so quite frequently I'm getting the opinion from my colleague chefs and uh, business owners uh, that marketing as such is not very useful in our industry. Mm -hmm. So tell them how, how wrong they are. <laughs> yeah, um, of course marketing is one of the key drivers for your customers to actually visit your place and to actually get in. So marketing is, I would say, still one of the most important things next to the cooking and the organizational stuff for every business also, including food trucks and others. All right, so marketing, it could take many forms. Uh, let's talk about branding. What, 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 is, what do you understand by branding? Um, branding, for example, is uh, how you promote your message to the outside. Let's go for one example, you have a food truck and you're selling burgers, you want to sell them as American burgers. That's your idea, that's what you want to do. And branding is how you promote this idea to the outside world, to your customers, so that they receive you as the American burger place. All right, so it's not only the name, but it's also the logo, uh, the uniforms, the looks of a food truck, whether you paint it or you have stickers on it, it's everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a, a whole combination, a whole experience of your customers that makes them see you as exactly this place. So what you're saying, it's basically a difference between uh, using your food truck or walking past, right? So the customer needs to find it appealing in order to use or sure. even try your good food. Without it, he won't even try. All right, but I mentioned already the name. Uh, how do you find the right name for your food truck? Uh, yeah, like the right name is the one short thing that everyone knows about your food truck. And it seems like super easy to find because it is mostly only like five letters or ten or something. But it's actually a very long process. Um, to find a name that is both catchy, describing your place and still sounds likeable and appealing to the customer. What I would recommend, personally, um, sticking to like the American burger idea. Just write down everything that comes into your mind for your food truck. Like write down, Ameri I'm American, I sell burgers, uh, my name is Christopher, whatever. And then also associations with this, like American can be Texas, can be California, so maybe Texas burger or something like this. Just brainstorm with a list of words that you would connect to your food truck and they will come out something good. All right, absolutely. Uh, so uh, as I get it from what you're saying, you should start with the name creation process as early in the process as possible. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. it's going to help with further issues like the branding whole thing, right? Mm. So uh, talking about branding and looks, uh, how do I create a logo? Um, what are the constituents? At best, don't. <laughs> it's like, let it be done by somebody who does it, does it professionally. Because um, when you're doing it yourself uh, on, I don't know, probably programs like Microsoft PowerPoint or Paint or free programs you can download, it mostly doesn't look super professional and your customer sees it. So if you're sloppy with the logo already, your customer that sees this logo might think, okay, that guy is also sloppy with his food and everything he does and it's like, uh, I'll rather go to the next one because professional logos are a basic for food trucks and food businesses. Yeah, true that. I've seen it many times. I think I mentioned it in my previous program as well because I'm pretty in the subject of food trucks. I, I love mm. food trucks and you know I'm visiting all my possible uh, festivals that I can during the season and I've seen some uh, places having uh, clip art straight from Wood ed word Editor uh, just mm. as their logos. Uh, yeah. th that, that doesn't look good does it? 
Yeah, no, that's like, it's totally ununique and I wouldn't visit a place if something's next that has... Yeah, exa exactly. Like, exactly. Like, the competition, you have to watch your competition and you have to compete against them. And if you fail already on marketing basics, oh. then... Yeah. That, that's one thing to remember, you know, you have competition and it's a constant fight. So the better you do your job on the beginning, the better for your business. Mm. Uh, all right. So uh, which tips do you have when it comes to designing a food truck? Mm -hmm. um, like make it, make it broad. Yeah. Keeping with the American food truck, you're selling American burgers and then you don't want to have uh, like one small American flag in your background. You have to be like, ridiculously obviously selling what you're selling like put two American flags on your um, sites put a big eagle statue on your roof put some American stuff in the back and also not only for your food truck but also for your outfit dress up like I don't know um, wearing a huge American hat or something or uh, pants like that um, put it on everything that you have, everything that you sell from um, yeah, um, plates to whatever you can print it on and make it obvious. Then the customers will remind you and keep you in hat. All right. So uh, you mentioned hats, so uniforms, uh, stickers, flags, um, uh, well, com lo creating a logo. Um, well, well, it all sounds like it costs money. So how can I start good branding without investing too much? Mm -hmm. um, yes, uh, I can understand, like, especially when you're starting up, you're just building up your food truck. A food truck is expensive itself and you didn't start earning money now. I can understand it's not much money there. Um, but what I would not recommend is making a huge unprofessional branding or something that is just like, okay, this would look cool, but this is half the price. It doesn't look so good, but I will buy that one instead for my branding. Don't do that because in the end you will ruin your food truck. You will ruin the first perception of the customer because they will see you in the first place and they will be like, ah, they don't do it so well. And you will, maybe you will have this very same position for years to come and they will always remember the first branding that they saw from you, even though you improved by the way. So keep it simple in the beginning. Logo, naming, maybe some very basic um, menu on the side. And as soon as you have the budget mm -hmm. for creating something unique, go for it. And of course, you can um, uh, reduce the cost a little bit, right? Like by using uh, yeah, services yeah. of, well, maybe unprofessionals is the wrong word, but you can use professionals. Yeah, yeah, like uh, students, graphic students, right? Like, you know, yeah. you, they do it sometimes for free even, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. like graphic students uh, are a good example. Like um, they need something for the portfolio, for example, that they can promote and that they can say, look, this is out from me. This is out from me. This I also created. So they will help you for much smaller money than professional agencies. And also I can recommend like when it comes to logo and brainstorming and creative ideas, ask your friends, think about who can be a creative guy and just chat a little with them. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was getting. Like, you know, you can ask your friends around like, you know, in a wide spectrum of things, you know, get mm -hmm. the feedback down uh, and then just build on it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chris, I see there's questions coming in from our viewers. Let's start with Lola88. All right, Lola88 is asking, if my idea for the name is similar to some existing name, can I get into troubles? That's a good question, I think. Mm, yeah, um, sure, if the brand is registered somewhere and um, that food truck, for, let's stay for food truck, another food truck registered the brand and um, you use the same brand as well. You can be sued for that. You maybe need to change everything after half a year, like your website, your branding, your logo, everything. And you don't want to go through that mess. There are so many open names out there. I would, I would definitely and, search for and something. And besides, unique. there's another issue with that, right? So if, if you have a very similar name, it could happen that you're actually advertising for the other guy. Yeah. That you made completely uh, misunderstanding. Mm. Yeah. So that's also true. Uh, Lola is asking again: Shall I change it? I found out that someone else is having a food truck like this, but in other city. 
Difficult. Um, it's depending on the size what you can do is first check if you uh, are breaking some laws. For example, um, check on the register online is the name already registered because many food trucks are also like, okay, it's, I'm just a food truck, I don't need to register the name at the moment uh, as a trademark and um, yeah, check out if it is registered and honestly, if they don't complain, you can maybe stick to it if the city is far away, but um, yeah. And see, that, that's, that's the problem with food case. trucks, they're cruising around, you know, and it yeah. may turn out that on the next festival, you're standing next to the same guy and, you know, mm, yeah. people think you're the same company, which actually happened the other day, like, you know, that was uh, my example of a bad logo because the two different food trucks took a logo from a very popular website that is um, giving a sense of um, originality, mm -hmm. but they all do, the, the whole logo looks the, pretty much the same. So I thought from far away, there's two same food trucks standing next to each other and it turned out that it's not like that when I came closer, but it, it took me a second and, and a third mm. look uh, to actually figure it out. So. Uh, a good name, always try to be original. Yeah? yeah, from the beginning. All right, Lewis is asking, if you already talked about logo and branding, could you give also a good example? Mm. Um, I would have a few, actually, if it comes Me to too, food but trucks. Please go, go, You're the go guest, please, please go. Oh, but, merci. But, um, yeah, uh, when it comes to um, branding, I would give two examples, one of a big brand and one of a small one. The big one would be Burger King. Um, it is describing everything it does. It is the king of burgers. It is an American brand. When you see the colors of the actual brand, it's white, red and blue like the American flag, plus the bunny in the middle. Mm. So it's like, we are American burgers and they also make like king. It's like royal, it's big. We are American, we are strong. And this is like the whole concept in the logo and naming. And when it comes to food trucks, it's much smaller. Um, it's one is called um, uh, the Frank Fuda truck. It's called like Frank, like the name food mm -hmm. and a truck. Um, they also do this American, uh, very similar to that uh, from Burger King, but they do it a little more, yeah, like as I said before, ridiculously obvious. Mm -hmm. And um, this is why they stick out even if they are a small brand. Yeah, I, I love the Burger King example because they actually made a huge mistake, which is uncommon for such a big brand. I don't know if you know, um, but the, hung, sorry, the Burger King has already been a registered name in Australia, ah, which is a huge market, right? So when Burger King went to Australia, they had to change the name. And that's a, actually a great example of a great logo, great brand name, but in a different country, they, you know, they had to do it mm. quickly because they were already building places, right? So they had to change it for Hungry Jacks. So if you go anywhere else uh, uh, outside of Australia and you say, I've been in Hungry Jacks, well, people will think, okay, you've been in a restaurant, but mm. what kind of restaurant is it, right? Mm. So Burger King, fantastic, but they made a small mistake. Uh, all right, another question from Jay-Z. Food truck or food boat? Ah, I love food boats, but food trucks are more um, flexible, I would say. Yeah, especially in Europe. Maybe in yeah. Venice, that would be great, <laughs> a food boat, fantastic. Well, I like the idea of a food boat. I've seen them in uh, Thailand, uh, I've seen them in uh, Cambodia and so on. Uh, it's great. Um, I've seen them a couple in Europe as well, but we don't have so many waterways. Mm. But even though, uh, I think it's a good idea, don't you think? Like, you know, whenever you have a river, why not? When you have a place on a river and there's like always people walking by, it's surely it's also an eye catcher and will absolutely. Get customers. Although I'd be careful, like you know, especially in Europe, we do have winters here, right? Yeah. So like in, in, in foot in a foot truck, well, you can cruise around in winter too. Well, yeah. the season is of course between, uh, let's say, end of March until uh, let's say mid of October, mm. and the rest the food trucks are standing, but still it's sort of possible to yeah, cruise around. Energy supply, water supply. Yeah, it could be quite difficult. Yeah. But my recommendation would be, if you see there's a market for it, go for it. But it's quite risky. All right, Marco, 
I'm working on my food truck, which I want to launch next year. Brainstorming ideas all the time and I'm a bit confused and lost. I wanted to use bold colors, crazy fonts, anything that stands out. Now I'm thinking maybe black and white and simple is the way to go. And then I will stand out in the middle of all colorful trucks. Black and white doesn't differ from colorful trucks, I would say, but um, yeah, if you make this, again, if you make it broad and if you have more than concept of just making everything black and white, but actually having, uh, I would think about black and white with patterns and everything like that, um, then it could visually stick out actually mm -hmm. by using these two colors. So my idea, or actually my opinion on it, is generally it doesn't matter whether black or white or colorful, as you said, uh, if you'd make the project right, if your design mm. is right. So for two examples, um, if we have the chance, I'll invite you for a burger because they're both present here. So it's Bobby Burger and Pashi Bus, right? Mm. Two food trucks. Uh, Bobby Burger, all black and white. Nice, big, bold black letters. And they're quite successful. They're building another food truck and other food trucks. They're pretty much everywhere in every, um, you know, um, center or, so, so, uh, or shops uh, or mall. Uh, same with Pashibus. Now, huge growing brand, but in color. Mm. When they stand next to each other, you have a total spectrum, color and black and white. Both can be successful. Uh, what I found out in my previous shows uh, in the research for my previous shows, is when you're doing uh, black and uh, sorry, colorful, then you have to think of a black and white version of the Logan brand, just to yeah. be on uh, company papers, bills, sure. logos, and stuff like that. Uh, so that's the only thing to remember. But whether colorful, yeah, it's a free form, right? Like food trucks, everything's allowed. So yeah, and I would also think like when you think about black and white, black and white is one option. Like the two color, the two colors only using is very innovative in it, but you can also think about not using black, but maybe using a darker red or something, just to give you a more it's unique like a thing. Bi color, right? Yeah, bi yeah. color, wh red, white, something like that. Coca-Cola, good example, right? All right, Charming Charles. Guys, you remember the lorry from Dumb and Dumber movie? That was hell of a branding, don't you think? I've never seen that movie. <laughs> That's impossible. No. That's impossible. But it's like, let me just describe it to you. Basically, it was a dog car, right? It was all made like a dog. It had fur on it, it had a tongue, it had flapping ears and everything. Mm. So I reckon that that's fantastic. And actually, I love these crazy ideas. Um, I don't know if you've seen them. Um, well, I'm researching the subject the whole time. And I went through some designs that were absolutely out of this world. Um, I mean, uh, and not necessarily very expensive. Mm. Like, for example, there was a grass-fed burger thing, and the whole thing was covered in artificial grass. That, that stands out mm. whatever it is, right? Yeah. Th that's branding. So uh, basically, they made a real courtyard in front of the um, food truck, which was styled as a fence, and the chairs and everything was in wood and everything. So when you looked from it, it looked like a farm that sell farm fresh burgers, right? Fantastic. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Charming Charles, uh, absolutely. Uh, as I said, uh, food trucks are, are a free form. You can do whatever you like. You can go as crazy. I call it, you know, controlled craziness because mm. you still have some guidelines, right? You mm. cannot be offensive. You cannot, um, uh, well, don't be too controversial, right? Like, you know, uh, being too, too crazy is not good enough for some audiences, right? Yeah, you have to think that your food should be attractive to everybody, probably, or at least to a huge percentage of the people you are aiming for, uh, which might be especially in festivals, a younger generation also. So go creative, go crazy, do art, really art with it, but don't. Um, Try not to offend anyone, that's really not a good idea. Yeah, exactly. And especially these days, people get easily offended, right? So uh, yeah. I actually seen a good example. I just mentioned it. I've seen like, you know, uh, it was already in the logo and it was on the branding, it was on the t-shirts. Uh, so um, quite consequent, I'd, I'd say that. But that was a sexy pinup girl eating a hot dog in a very uh, sensual way, so the sauce mm. is dripping and everything, it, so, uh, and the food truck was next to a school, well, it was between a school and a church. Mm. Uh, so, great idea, but maybe a little bit too much, one step too far, I'd say. All right, Marco, 
I was also looking at cool different packaging ideas, nice stickers and all those gadgets. It's great but crazy expensive. Do you think it's okay to start without these things in the first season and invest later? Um, it is, of course, uh, it is best starting off already earning some money before you can do it. But um, like, you, watch your budget. Just simply watch your budget. Is it possible? Is it not possible? If it is possible, you can have an upseller. You can um, really make your food truck more valuable or seeming more valuable and better and higher quality. Maybe you can even raise the prices a little bit when you have a good branding material. But um, when you don't have the money or you're not sure about the success of your business, um, try to go for cheaper methods, I would say. Anyway, ordering, especially the mentioned things, isn't expensive. What I could also recommend, mm -hmm. try just a bunch. Try a few of them, see if it has an impact and uh, then decide for if you want to go for it or if you want to stay with the very simple white ones or whatever. Um, I actually have also have to add an opinion. I, I mean, like I totally agree with you. Uh, however, uh, there are some really cheap ways to do the right thing, right? And you can combine these things. Um, for example, uh, printing out uh, some stickers with your logo uh, isn't a very expensive thing. Um, getting some packaging that is uh, maybe not the most beautiful but very functional and combining these two together gives you something uh, well, a ready product. Um, on an example, the other day, uh, it was a few months ago, I went to a festival, green festival in my hometown. And well, because I have a little kid, I went there a little bit early before the concert started. And as soon as I entered um, the whole area, I've noticed some people carrying paper cones with this really nice sauce thing for, uh, for the sauce, well fries of course, with a huge, was I think yellow dot on him. Mm. And I've seen several people with it. And I was already wondering, oh, all right, that, 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 that simple product, fries, right? Yeah. But then I noticed um, it was actually one of the food trucks that was open and it was handing out um, those cones to, uh, to workers, the people who work for the organizer, right? And it's such a simple thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you combine something, two th cheap things, achieving a very cheap but a very powerful result. Um, yeah, and what I also, as you mentioned, the uh, dot I can recommend as a very, very cheap method of branding. Just think about your logo, uh, create it as a stamp, like a stamp, like seven centimeters mm -hmm. uh, big. Uh, it costs around 20 euro. Then get a stamp pad, five euro more. Stamp it and put the stamp on just simple material that you get for one or two cents and you can have your branding everywhere, like for 25 euro. This is how it spreads, device. exactly. All right, Luke Casino, I've got some ideas for the name and branding. Could I send it to you so you could tell me what you think about it? Well, absolutely, Luke Casino. Um, feel free to send us emails on the email uh, address below. It goes straight to uh, my mailbox but uh, I will use the knowledge of my experts and guests, absolutely. So uh, feel free to send it and I will definitely uh, answer. Uh, Charming Charles, uh, Mr. Christopher, you gotta catch up with the movie. Yeah, Dumb and Dumb. Sorry, uh, yeah, the, the title. It has two parts promising. already, so a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> All right, so that was my last question again. Uh, if it, something comes up to your mind, feel free to send us an email uh, on the address below. Uh, if there's, um, well, I'll try to answer all the qu questions individually. If there's plenty for one particular subject, we'll make another uh, show out of it. Well, I thank my guest. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you for having me. Thanks you, thank you for your questions. Thank you for watching. And I hope I see you next time. Cheers.